A drop ball falls downward 8 meters. What is its final speed? Here's a hint. Delta x should be negative. Well, why is that? Let's just draw a quick picture here. If you start at 8 meters high, this is going to be your final position. This is your initial. So we always do final minus initial. So you would have, here's your final height. 8 is your initial. So final minus initial would be 0 minus 8. That's negative. Okay, so let's see how we solve the problem now. And we'll have to erase this. And we use our third kinematics equation because there's no time variable. And we have to take the square root of both sides to find our final velocity. And our initial velocity is zero. Whenever you say it's a drop ball and they don't give you an initial velocity, assume it's zero. And here's our two from the equation. The acceleration is a negative g, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And then here's our delta x, which we said should be negative. And yes, it is. Zero minus eight is a negative eight. And that's good because we don't want the square root of a negative number at this level. And we can finish the math. And here we have the negative times a negative is positive, and we get 13 meters per second.